Generic greetings and welcome to Academia School Simulator. This is a building and management game where you will construct and manage a school. You will have some workers, you will set them to task to build walls and floors and doors and other such things and then you will sign different rooms such as classrooms, places to eat, different halls and buildings and then you will get staff to teach and then actually get some pupils, give them some education and then hopefully they will then progress on to the next level of study and that's pretty much it. It's a game I've played about two hours and it is in early access so the typical disclaimers apply. Basically it isn't finished yet. Yet, but the plan is quite simple. Do a series where we build a school and hopefully give people an education better than what I received as a child. Let's go to start new game and crack on. So we need to first generate our school's like motto and name and things like that. So we're going to go for, um, do we have a black and white colour scheme? There is not a black and white colour scheme. So we'll go with uh, this something like uh, that maybe. No. That one is okay. So we need a name for the school and we could go with a generic teaching facility, but I think that's a bit too long. So we'll go with um, generic school. That'll, that'll work. Uh, and the motto is generic. Oh, it has to be in Latin. So generic lorum ipsum. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the lorem's right, but yeah, generic lorem is that'll do, that'll do. And then we need um, the different symbols, so we could go Gryffindor or all that, but um, Slytherin, uh, Raven, not oh, Raven, because Ravenclaw's obviously the best. Uh, Raven and Atom, a compass, a gri yeah, compass, and and a tree. Why not? That's, that's fine with me, and we'll click play. So, uh, first thing you will notice, I'll just pause it for a moment, is you'll notice that, um, well, the art is quite familiar. Uh, you might be looking at this going, well, that looks a bit like Prison Architect. In fact, some of the layout is a bit like that. In fact, the way you build things uh, and, and the way you have different uh, zones is very much like that. Well, there's a reason for the similarity. That's because the artist that worked on Prison Architect, Ryan Sumo, actually is involved in this. This is um, their second game. I think the first one was um, Political Animals, which I have featured on the channel. But either way, it's... Um, you know, got that in there. In fact, I believe, true, maybe true story here, uh, one of the things that Prison Architect was originally was a school type thing. I'm pretty sure I watched uh, an introversion sort of dev vlog thing where they went through and said, oh, well, we maybe were thinking of like a school simulator type thing. I think that was one of the prototypes they may have worked on. Maybe I just made that up, but it does seem quite familiar. But either way, it really doesn't matter for the time being. So, uh, we do have a to-do list. As you can see, we've got a basic education to-do list here. So, build a freshman's classroom, assign teacher to freshman's classroom, build a kitchen, cafeteria, and hire three cooks. Okay, so we can easily do that, but first things first, we're going to go over to the, uh, probably layout, and we're going to start, um, putting some, like, flooring and stuff like that in place. So we'll go for, um, outline, object, no, is there not a floor? There's walls and there's doors, but we'll use objects for now, and this is going to be, like, a, a pathway that'll go around. So the pathway will go all the way along, and then down like this, okay? So it's going to be neither delivery, uh, you can't, for some reason, right-click to remove, which is an, an immediate, like, a little bit annoying. As I said, it is an early access, so I'm assuming a lot of this will come in time, but there's just a many occasion where I just go, I wish it was, like, XYZ, but hey-ho. So that's going to be... Um, a bit where the, like, walkway is, so uh, students will come in this way, then up and round. So we need uh, different classrooms, and we need, and we need uh, somewhere for them to eat. So, the question is, do we, do we have everything in one room? Because there's no foundations in this game, you just place the walls. We could go with everything under one building. I like the idea of it more like a campus, so, like, every building's separate, and you come out in, and then we can put some nice trees and shrubberies and things like that in. So I think we're going to go with that way. So first things first, we'll go for a wall outline, and we're going to have a wall outline that'll go um, probably along here. Like so. Uh, this is going to be where we have um, the path going up if we need to do that. And we're going to have, this is like a cooking area. So the, if we go over to zones, we can check the, where is it? Not the cafeteria. It is the kitchen. Kitchen is a minimum size of four by four. So we know that now. So one, two, three, four. And we could make it slightly larger. We'll make it up to six because then at least we can expand this. We ideally don't want to make more than one kitchen and cafeteria because quite honestly, I have to tried that and it's just as bad as it was in Prison Architect back in the day. It is very problematic. People will cook here and then take it all the way over to the other side of the campus and that's not something we want. Okay, so this is a total of 9, 10 internal if we do that one there. So this is a 10 by 5. 10 by 5, yes. Uh, yep, that'll do her. And then we'll just remove all of that bit. Okay, so that's going to be our 
our kitchen. We will have the entrance to the kitchen, probably in the back like so. We'll have them like that. And then one, two, three. Actually, how big is where if we go over to the kitchen? How big is the kitchen sink? It is a three by that's a three by one. So what we'll do, we will out we'll just go for a little bit bigger here then. And that means we can have two sinks right in here. So then we'll have the rest of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So cook, uh, cookers along there, fridges. Yeah, we should be okay. We can even put them on the other side. Dandy. Right. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, in terms of the cafeteria, we can have it as big as we want, really. But we're just going to go along like so and then straight across and then up. And then we've got a, a 10 by, it'll be a 10 by 10. That's, that's square. That'll do her. That'll do it. So that's fine. Actually, do we make it 11 and then we'll put the entrance in there? That might be the better way to go. Let's have let's have a wall outline across like so. We'll erase that section there and then we want to put one in the middle, which will be there by my reckoning. So we'll just double check that with the wall outline here. So that is a 6 to there and a 6 to there. So that should be a 5 to there and a 5 to there. It is job done. By the way, we're not going to design the entire school in one go. That would just be silly. We're just doing the bits we need to do now, okay? Just so you understand. Right, so... We will have, again, object outline. We'll have this going up and then around. This is going to be our flooring, like so. We're just putting it in so we remember. Obviously, I do need to do the stuff in here, like the objects, but we'll, we'll deal with that. We've already roughly measured it, so we know what we're doing there. Uh, in terms of this area, this is going to be a classroom. And although, is it does it want to be a classroom? I don't know. Um, yes, I think it does need it. We need a freshman's a fresh freshman classroom, I believe. Kitchen, cafeteria, freshman's classroom, and a teacher. Yes, yeah, so that's the basic one. We also will need eventually toilets and stuff. You can see in grants, there's loads of other stuff to do. So we got all that to do. But for the time being, we'll just go with the classroom. So the classroom will have the entrance on the bottom probably uh, let's just see what sort of size it would be if we did this so that's the wrong this is wrong tool said Zathras um, let's go up like so if someone gets that reference then <laughs> plus 10 generic approval points um, we'll remove that there and it looks like we are right in the center so it's four by four that is absolutely spot on so that's fine and then we'll go up to there we might as well just just bring it up to the edge like so and then we know we've got a, a bit of a square um, it's not, it's not totally square, it's actually obviously higher up here, but it means also that we have our um, our objects along there, and then that is pretty much what we need. So that's all of our basic stuff, that'll be the classroom, there is a minimum size for the classroom, but that is probably far too big, but at least it's done. 55 grand in the kitty, let's crack on. So we'll go to build, we'll go over to concrete wall, blue wall, brick wall, what sort of stuff do we want to do? Well, I'm going to leave the tile walls for... The tiled walls, it would be nice to have the kitchen as tiled walls, but I don't want the entire outside to be tiled walls. I think what we'll do is we'll leave the concrete, blue, and orange walls for the different levels of classes because and different uh, teaching facilities. Anything that would be classed as a, uni a building that's sort of um, like... Uh, staff room and kitchen, canteen, things like that will go for the brick and the tiles will be for the bathroom. Uh, I think that's what we'll go with. So, what I'm saying is that this is going to be brick. So, we'll generate all of this, as you can see. Now, there's no foundations to be placed. It's just you place this like so. And then we will unpause it. And then you can see the workmen will crack on. So they're going to go along and uh, start building all of this. And we obviously need some doors, so we'll go to objects. And the good thing about this is um, the, the there's different tabs, so you split it up. It doesn't automatically uh, prison architect, like, sort of uh, highlight what you want. Um, by the way, I know it, it's generally bad form to constantly go on about how a game is like something else but I think it's very apt in this case so I will be making a lot of references to that and I think because of you know it's my channel and I'm assuming you've seen some of my prison actor videos and whatnot you'll appreciate the references anyway you know you'll get it so that's I don't think it's I think it's no harm no foul there if I'm wrong then by all means let me know and I will um Try to avoid it in the future. Anyway, so um, what we need to do is go over to the kitchen, and you can see there's uh, kitchen sinks and refrigerators, stuff like that. Actually, what I need first is uh, I do need a door, which is... Uh, there's a scroll here, but the the mouse button doesn't do it. Oh, sorry, the, the scroll wheel doesn't do it. It would be really nice is if you scroll here. If you scroll while mousing over this uh, window here, it scrolls along that. That would be a lot easier. But hey-ho, let's just go for... We're looking for a door here, and benches, canteen benches, computers... Um, I'm not seeing a door. Is it even in there? Is it? Oh, it's in here. It's in the build tab. Okay. So we'll have a door there. We'll rotate it that round to there and there. 
doors do have an orientation here and they don't slide they actually do open properly which is nice so we're going to go for a this is kitchen zone so we'll actually designate that as kitchen zone and even though this is not technically it's not the kitchen zone it's just it's it's what the floor it's going to be the flooring we're putting in it's like so and i think I think that will be fine. Obviously, we're going to use concrete for the walkways, so we'll have concrete going up to there, and then in there, and then there, and then along like so. Hang on. Hang on. There we go, along to there. And then we'll let them crack on. So this is all built up, and we will then go for a cafeteria. We'll designate all of that. You can only have square room for the time being. It's, every time you generate another bit, it does. Like if I if I added a little bit on, like so, you can see it does. Well, it actually doesn't do it there because it can't. But if it could, like if I do that and then that, look, it doesn't join up. It just makes separate rooms. So there is that. We'll just remove these zones. But once you get used to it, it's fairly intuitive. Um, again, that might be changed later on. I really don't know. So we'll designate it all as kitchen, like so. So it's now shouting at us to say, right, what haven't you got? So uh, obviously they're having to remove all of the trees in here. <laughs> That's another thing I really dislike as well. Um, I say that as if I disliked a lot of things so far. I haven't. Um, but look, because there's no roof on it, look, you get the shadows of the uh, of the building. <laughs> But anyway, you get the shadows of the, of the walls inside. So it's like, did none of these have roofs? Ah, well, whatever. So, kitchen. We'll go over to kitchen. And we'll have a kitchen sink. We will have two of. And you can see there's actually a little circle to show where people will stand when they're working, which is quite good. We'll have a stove, which is only, oh, size one. One, two, three, four. I don't think we need much more than that. And then a refrigerator can go uh, probably just on the back wall, to be quite honestly. Uh, quite honestly, I think back wall's fine. Now, you do not need to connect this up with electricity. There's none of that like stuff in the game. I don't know if it's going to be added in the future. I I have no idea. I really don't know. Um, obviously, the game is more about the management of the, uh, the pupils and stuff. But then, you know, anything can happen. Right, so, the cafeteria. Uh, objects, cafeteria. So, you've got food counters, play counters, things like that. We'll put a play counter in there and then you will get your food like so one and two there we go with a little bit of gappage and then we've got the oh the kitchen well the, the canteen tables and such so where do i want to place these i could have one there one there well one there one there and one there will that work yeah, one there, one there, and one... No, there's always going to be a bit of a dodgy area. Um, if I put one there and there, they're getting quite, it's getting quite cramped. And ideally, I want them to come straight in, so... I, yeah, just a little bit off either way. So that there, that there... That there, that there, and that there, that there. A little cramped, but it's fine. Built by the lowest bidder. Job done. All right, we'll go over to all and scroll along. And we want a couple of potted plants in here. Actually, we'll have a trash can. A couple of trash cans in here. One, two. And then we'll have a nice little... Uh, do we have a potted plant in the corner? Could do. Potted plant in the corner. Job done. Right, so there's the cafeteria. There's the kitchen. Let's go to staff. Uh, we want cooks. One, two, three. Three of. And now the classroom. So build. And... Right. How do we want to sign this? So... We want... Ah, there's four levels of student. Freshman. Sophomore, junior, senior. Okay. So we can't have four levels of... Like... We can't have four colours for the outside. So we're just going to go for teaching facility colour, which I think is going to be just concrete. Concrete? Or blue? Blue. Let's give a bit of colour in this. Blue walls. Okay. Um, staffed or no? Dollar. Oh yes, of course. Of course. I've actually messed this up a bit. That and that should be staffed doors. So I'll dismantle those. I'll speed up to max speed as well, because we can. Um, flooring. We'll go for concrete. You, you've got bathroom times and kitchen, but that, that's really all you've got so far. Uh, staff door. So I'll rotate right those around like that. Um, that says failed indoors. Ah, that's because I technically it isn't indoors. Because I've just, you know, ripped the door off. Right. Zones. 
class. Clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. Freshman's classroom. It's already, it, 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 it automatically defaults to freshman. You can uh, click on that and edit it once you've um, sorted the room out. But at the moment, we'll just pause it for a second. So we got minimum size 5x5. Five five. Yes, check. Chalkboard, failed. Student chair, 10 of. Office chair and office table. Right, well, chalkboard will obviously be at the front. So we'll uh, see if we can find... Where is it? Is it a blackboard or is it a dry erase one? No, it is actually chalkboard. Yeah. Okay. Well, because of the size of the room, I could put a couple of them in. Um, um, offset a bit like that. Perhaps. Yeah. You don't need two of them, but it looks a bit better than just the one. We'll go to classroom. We need office table. This is where the teacher will sit, which we'll put there. With the that's a student chair. We need a chair, and then you need the student chairs, which will go in like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and essentially like this. All right. So it's a big classroom. It's a very big classroom. It's oversized, in fact, but we're okay. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Okay, 32 students. I think the maximum is 20 in a, in a, in a room, but uh, hey-ho. Oh, uh, well. We'll manage it. So, we'll go to staff. We'll go to teacher, and it's a bit different for this one. So, each teacher has... That looks like Moss from the IT crowd. We're blatantly going to have to hire him. <laughs> um, actually, that's more like him because it's a bit thinner. Anyway, um, you've got different... You've got different, like... Um, levels of education for them, so doctorate, masters, things like that, and that's what the stars represent. But obviously it's going to cost more to hire someone which got a doctorate, and obviously a signing bonus. And then you've got what they're good at in terms of subjects. So you'll have some people that are slightly better at, say, art rather than science, and someone that's slightly better at uh, maths rather than history, and PE, and so forth. Um, essentially what we're going to do is go for the most qualified. So this is uh, Janeth Rauer, and we will say hire, and we will click where they need to go. And there they go. They're now in that classroom. So this is a freshman classroom. You can, like you say, click on it. Uh, you've got a zones, edit zone, clicky, clicky. Then you can edit the classroom so you can rename it. Um, so we don't need to rename it. It's fine. Uh, and it shows you the year so you can change it to whatever. But that's fine. That's all fine with us. So we have got basic education now completed. So we can open the school. Uh, we've got the to-do list and we've got school health. We've got cleanliness, which is a uh, higher janitor, build a janitor room, place trash cans. Uh, toilet training, which is build a male toilet and female toilet. I think we'll go for that because, quite frankly, um, I don't want any of the students to be caught short. So... There's that. We'll just go over to build. We've got 42 grand, so that's no problem. We'll uh, clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, get some of this uh, tiles uh, extra put in. So down to there, into there, and then along to the end, and then down. So that's all of the concrete tile. I'm just <laughs> making sure myself, actually. Did I do concrete tile? Yes, I did. Uh, we've also got planters as well, which we will place about the, uh, about the, uh, about the um, facility, but for now... We will probably leave it. We're probably going to open this up a little bit and have like a little park bench or something here. We can reduce some of the workers' quarters if we need to, but that's nah, okay. So, where do you want the toilet? Well, we could put it up here. I mean, there's, oh, there's loads of space. It's, we're, not, we're not shy on that one. But I think it would be best if we have it... Um, probably... Probably here is the best, probably the better way of doing it. So we'll go to layout, objects, and then we'll have a, uh, just a quick run up there with the walls. Then we'll measure roughly what this is going to be. So it's a 20. So there's no middle. So that's going to be 9 and 8. So one of the bathrooms is going to be a bit shorter, than the, smaller than the other one. Which is not ideal. You want them really the same size so we could do that by having 10 9 to there so that's 9 and 9 yep so we'll have a walkway up the middle we don't need to have it symmetrical but you know me we don't need it, but we're probably going to have it. So, 
the toilet entrance is probably going to be slightly offset. I reckon there and I reckon probably there and there. And oh, ah, <laughs> I'm going to see what happened. Uh, we went over to the next day. That's all that happened. <laughs> um, so again, wall outline. I think. Oh, that, that's in the wrong place, actually. Internal is seven. Internal is seven. That's that's fine. That one. So we'll remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Wall outline to there. Um, I don't think we need it much bigger than six, really. I mean, that that that's a, that's a fairly decent size for for the toilet, considering we'll have all the sinks and stuff there, and then you've got stalls along there. It's even quite. It's even too. It's too big anyway. Looking at that, because I mean, the, if you go to objects and the toilet, you can see you've got a sink and you've got cubicles, so it's actually far too big. I mean, you could have it like that and around. That is, that's not too bad. Back to back cubicles and you go around. I mean, you could even have it in the center if you wanted with a gap in the middle, but that, that looks really dodgy. You know what? That's a future as problem. I'm going to leave it there. Because um, it's we've got the rough planning. Yeah, I think that should do it about there. Definitely going to have the thing like that. Now we'll have a door there and there. Yeah, that's going to be the toilets. Male and female. So, I think we'll leave it there. Not a bad first episode. We've got all the basic stuff. Uh, we can say start, start school, yeah. We might, we might as well start the school, yeah. So... Uh, yeah, one, quarter one, day one, and there's the workers. There's a couple of uh, hours before the, at six, and I think the students arrive at, I don't know, I think they arrive at eight or nine. Uh, so you do have a little bit of time before the students arrive. Now, you can't alter at the moment any of the regime. They just, they, they do whatever the regime tells them to do, so they'll go to class, they'll go and eat, they'll do whatever, they'll be free time where they can use the facilities whether it be the laboratorial facilities or the computer like room or whatever or the library so yeah they can use all that but for now i think we will leave it there as always this is a, a project where i will hopefully be able to improve it with your feedback so let me know what you think where we should go from here obviously the toilet is something we need to sort out but then we've also got many many things for the to-do list we'll probably go for the toilet training first then the cleanliness which is hire a janitor and stuff and then uh, you know expanding horizons and stuff like that and build a club probably toilet and then cleanliness, and then uh, No Man is an Island, because they build like a club, because the students do have needs you have to take care of, so you need to be aware of that. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video so far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.